Good evening, friends. You know, I founded this company, oh, way back now in 1923. If you find people would indulge me, I'd like to fondly imagine what it might look like on its 100th anniversary in the distant year 2023. I'd give anything to be there with you. But this seems to be one of those times I'm tied down here at the studio night and day. And incidentally, I have a handkerchief ready. It's a wistful and, and romantic notion, I suppose, but I dream of superheroes running around wearing brightly colored spandex. I hope that by 2023, my Disney studio will produce a new Snow White, a very special kind of motion picture, one of which we're very proud, which will deconstruct the old fairy tale with romantic notions being shunted aside and uh, Snow White's dwarves being replaced by magical people in flaky uh, socio-cultural prevailing attitudes and the message. Uh, well, I suppose you can't blame a, a fond old man for dreaming. The wholesome family values and romance that have stood as a cornerstone of my company will, I can only hope, be uh, jettisoned in favor of characters who are strangely uh, sexless, who uh, don't become involved in relationships. Uh, it's my fervent wish that the, the indulgent writers of these characters uh, assemble a film that uh, alienates great swathes of the nation and ultimately sucks balls to such an extent that it loses my company a quarter of a billion dollars. Why, it is my most cherished hope that a new version of The Beloved Little Mermaid, a real Disney favorite, will include a musical number by a squawking, spluttering woman who sounds like she is mentally deranged. A song that sucks so much ass it were if the torture suction device affixed to the eyes in Saw X had instead been attached to society's collective rectum and placed on turbo, causing a catastrophic colonic hemorrhage. In the far off times, decades hence, I would be delighted if, if my Disney company produced a kid's flick featuring a first non-binary character to instill in impressionable boys and girls the charming notion that they too could embrace the idea of being non-binary and gender fluid. Uh, my hope uh, would be that my company would herald the studio's 100th anniversary celebration by ditching the wholesome, earnest family values and trademark charm in favor of a hopelessly complex and abstract premise with a tangle of other in-universe rules destined to bore and confuse little children and falling flat at the box office. I envisage my company overseeing a space adventure film franchise that gets spun off into so many movies and shows. It sinks to the level of including a gargantuan, fat-assed, flute-playing R&B singer who has a reputation for haranguing and fat-shaming her backup dancers. Uh, fingers crossed that uh, in the future my theme park might include a Star Cruiser hotel that will require decent folk to shell out thousands of dollars to have the simulated experience of being human trafficked by uh, being ushered into a panel van, uh, which is ostensibly a space shuttle, and taken uh, to their small windowless bedroom in a hotel. In keeping uh, with the time-honored verities of my company, I can only hope that a future film version of the beloved Peter Pan will feature Wendy punching Peter out like a, like a bitch. Were my company's vision to be brought to fruition in distant years hence, I would envision the pointless resurrection of a show about a valiant little person uh, used as a vehicle for Los Angeles scriptwriters uh, to flaunt the sexual awakening of a ginger-haired girl uh, under the seduction of a plucky established lesbian. And the two of them uh, lesbianizing as irrepressible lesbites uh, in lesbicious fashion while a narrative about spells and quests progresses in tandem without overshadowing the lesbotic tendencies of the Scissor Sisters, whose coupling provides a romantic and optimistic core to the story. My, oh my, what a wonderful future lies in wait. What I started way back in 1923 is bound to receive its greatest realization and apotheosis a century on in the distant future of 2023. One thing I can be sure of, the custodians of Disney in the future will take the values that I hold dear and express them in wholesome, engaging, and above all, original films and shows uh, the whole world is bound to love. I'd give anything to be there with you.